please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. It will help us a lot. Right. Well, I think um, you bring up a good point that people, when they're looking at these very complex drawings, it tends to be the students who are starting out who are learning drawing. I don't know if I lost the feed. Uh, I'm talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think people, when they're starting, out learning drawing. They just want to know that they can master it. So they pick things that look obviously challenging, you know, things that are more Michelangelo than, you know, Charles Schultz. Um, and even when I was in school, I sort of looked down on um, things that were simpler, thinking, well, that's not hard. Anyone can do that. And I didn't really get it. It wasn't so much about showing off. It was about expressing something. It was about putting a point across or putting across a relatable character. So I think it's perfectly fine when you're starting out, like, go for it, draw realistically, like master that and never lose that. Like, I still like to go to classical uh, life drawing and, and draw the heck out of a figure and draw all the little things. But I think what makes simple designs successful is that they are immediately gettable. They're immediately recognizable. People see them and they get what that's about. Like if you look at the character design for Inside Out, uh, I've heard people sometimes critique it because, oh, it's too simple. But for me, it works really well because you immediately understand, oh, hey, that's Joy. Yeah, that's what Joy would look like. She's all uh, yellow and she's very like, yay, super energetic. And then sadness is all like mm, blue and heavy. Sadness is a very heavy emotion. You know, anger is a very compacting emotion like this. Like you just feel yourself go a compacted little square with a flame coming out the top really feels like what anger is and I think it works across any language any culture it's a common human experience I think the big difference is when you're starting out you are trying to make art that proves yourself that proves that you're good you know and so in that way you're trying to take something from the viewer you're trying to take praise you know you're trying to be like please affirm me, please tell me I can draw, you know, and then when you get to a more mature place in your career where you feel confident that, yeah, I can draw, I, I can do that. Now, what am I going to do with it? Well, then you can start making art that gives something to people instead of taking, that gives them a feeling of, of either contentment or excitement or, or the thrill of fear or whatever it might be that you want to give to those people. And you're no longer looking for them to be constantly affirming you. I mean, at least ideally. I think we all have our days where we feel uh, a little bit insecure. <laughs> but um, I was reading a, a book of interviews by Miyazaki what he was trying to do with Kiki's delivery service. He wanted, said, I wanted to make a film to comfort the young women who I see who come to the city, who have to leave their families and are doing this very scary thing. And I wanted to give them assurance that it's going to be okay. And so because he drew Kiki so simply and he went for the emotion of each scene um, in a very non-pretentious way that's a really accessible movie like I watch that movie and I feel like oh my god I'm Kiki I you know left my home and went to a new city and I love cats I don't have a cat because they're not allowed here where I live uh, but I would if I could and I lived with a nice lady who reminded me so much of the Baker character in that and I just feel like um art that is that is accessible and non-pretentious and honest and really from the heart can give a lot of comfort and and wisdom to people you know um i think that's the main difference it's not to say that elaborate art has nothing to offer that is certainly not true um because there are people who create beautiful things that do give a lot to people i just think that the tendency of the young student artists to try and show off their rendering skills uh most kind of grow out of that